What's up, everybody? Welcome to BioS3 Raw TV. A few things we're going to talk about today. First one, right off the bat, if you're actually looking at this, you're probably like, Jerry, what the fuck is on your shoulder? <laughs> um, I'm wearing a tank today because, well, first of all, it's warm out. Second of all, I got some new ink done. As you guys can see, I got a Polynesian sleeve piece that is actually going all the way around and up. And it's all stenciled out. I've been getting some new ink lately as I uh, decided not to compete anymore. After two pec tears and an issue with my back that's not going to get better. I've always wanted sleeve tattoos, so now I'm starting to sleeve my body. So the Polynesian, I got this one um, last week, which is a, you can see it, is a cross, which is a tribute to my grandmother. So I'm starting to get my sleeves, so now you guys will see some ink starting to pop in a little more and more. So that's what that's all about. First of all, I want to say thank you guys for coming and subscribing to the channel. We hit 50,000 subs. We're at 50,000, and we're over 50,000 now as of yesterday. And every 10,000, I put out one of these videos, which is basically a thank you to you guys for coming and subscribing and watching the channel. Since the beginning, excuse me, I've tried to put out content that was interesting, that was worth watching, that was different than what everybody else puts out of. But at the same time, when I see some kind of bullshit, I'll try to call it out as best I can to best of my knowledge, which I'm not really sure why again. I think a lot of people bury their heads in the sand and they do this whole thing like, well, no, no, don't don't call out bullshit. Don't do that because that's just going to start a bunch of shit. You should just shut your mouth and fucking do your thing. And that is kind of my thing. Kind of my thing is calling out bullshit when I see it. And by the responses that I get and the emails that I get and the fact that my channel is growing at over 150 subscribers a day, not only do you like the content with the information, but you like the story times, you like the fact that I call people out, you like the stupid little skits that I do. You know, it's a blend of these things together, which I think is actually becoming, you know, more and more, not just informational, but fun to watch for some people. Some people don't like certain things, some people like other things. But in general, as a whole, I get a lot of positive feedback and comments based on the things that I'm doing. And I appreciate you guys coming and subscribing. And it's kind of mind-boggling because, you know, I started this thing with... <clears throat> A video about cardio and how I was sick of people saying you don't have to do cardio and cardio is nothing and only do five minutes of cardio a week and all this bullshit and it's just kind of taken off from there and you know um, at this point you know it's still daily content that I try to put out I put out things that you know are kind of in the news not in the news things that I hear from people questions that people ask you know all these different things that I think are interesting and I'll keep doing it until it gets to be the point where I don't think it's interesting. If there's something, I, if I don't have anything interesting to say, I just won't make anything. So that being said, thank you guys. I appreciate it. And there's more to come on BioS3. And we'll see you guys at all the different appearances that we're doing now. Like FitCon is coming up next weekend, the Olympia. And there's going to be a whole bunch of more things that we're going to set up for the rest of 2014 as well as 2015, which the schedule's not even made for that yet. Now, I also want to say a very special congratulations to Jorge. You guys saw him about a week ago. I put up the video in Competitor Spotlight. And he is the, the lightweight competitor. We're going to try to suck him down a bit. He competed yesterday. And as of yesterday, Jorge went into the Muscle Mania. Not only did he win his class, which was the lightweight class, but he swept the overall as well, won the, most, uh, the best poser award, and won his pro card. Now, we did not make Bantamweight, which we made lightweight, which was, I think he was one pound off, which means that he was one of the smaller lightweights also. Still swept the class. So congratulations, Jorge. And, you know, it just goes to show, people over and over again, like what we explained in the video, told him over and over again, you have to eat 500 grams of carbs, you have to do this, you have to do that, you don't have to do cardio. Again, the cardio thing, no cardio, come back on the cardio. Well, you know, with George, we took the approach of, we need to take your physique to be as full as it can and as hard as it can and a blend overall balance. Be as big as you can, but as tight as you can. The balance. It wasn't about trying to be the most shredded guy on stage and looking like a fucking skeleton. It wasn't about trying to be the big guy and having too much fat left on your body. It was trying to bring in the tightest, best, fullest package that you could. And there was really no... We didn't really use any kind of calculations. There was no body weight times this, divided by this. It was all literally as you go. We watched, 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 and made adjustments as we watched. Had a small off-season that would help him improve where he didn't get fat, okay, he bulked up a little bit, he kept getting bigger and bigger and bigger, but he wasn't getting fatter, and then we would launch into the, the cut 10 weeks out, and as that cut went along, we noticed within, you know, six weeks, he was pretty much almost ready, so then you got to tone it down a notch, you got to say, okay, what's happening now, we need to push harder with the, you know, the training in the gym, maybe push harder with the cardio for this, and everything had to be timed so that he would peak on that day perfectly, and then we tried to suck him down a band away, which could have backfired drastically, but the idea was, 
you're bigger in the smaller weight class and you're going to be already shredded. So you're better off, your chances are better off there. When he missed that, that cutoff and went into the lightweight, so now I said, okay, we need to fill out, but you can't jam six, 700 grams of carbs in your body and fill out overnight like a lot of people do. A lot of people stay up overnight and try to eat and eat and eat and eat, try to fill out. Our idea was to fill him out enough to be full, but be dry as fuck, because now he's going to be in that lightweight class on one of the smaller weights. Now, everything worked out the way it did, and I will not sit back and say, well, it's because of biology training, it's because of this. George had a good physique to begin with, okay? He was already fucking winning his classes in natural shows, and George is 100% drug-free. So fuck you guys who are out there that are bitching and complaining about drugs. Fuck that. And the kid kills himself in the gym. He absolutely, I've seen him train in the gym. The kid will absolutely go to leg press failure on a fucking leg press until his fucking legs break and he gets buried under the fucking weight. I've seen it. I mean, it, it just, he has that never-say-die attitude, that fucking killer attitude that is, I don't care if I fucking throw up, pass out, fucking hurt myself. I'm going to fucking do as hard as I can, train as hard as I can, push as hard as I can in the gym until fucking I get nothing left. And then within seven or eight months' time, his physique had such a drastic transformation, not body weight-wise, but quality-wise, that he got his pro card. So congratulations, George. Fucking way to go. I don't know what the next step is. I think right now I just get a little bit of rest, and we'll figure it out from there. But... Again, guys, thank you for the 50,000 sub mark, which is pretty awesome. We'll see you guys at FitCon. Congratulations, Jorge. And we'll be finishing up the ink soon. Training at gmail.com. Leave comments down below, but don't fight. www.biosetraining.com is a blog. And we're, congratulations, Jorge Bicep, and we're out.